Namaste. Welcome. Joint and neural compression can be painful, and for someone who suffers scoliosis, this is far worse. Having to endure this condition all my life, I know the struggles. Low back, hip pain, discomfort, joint pain you know, of the knees, you know, the feet, the ankles, and the shoulders, and even hands and the fingers, because all of this are connected to the issue. Yeah. And this is challenging. This could actually be disrupted. So for me, developing overall strength is still the long-term solution. And this is where yoga can really help you. But mind you, not all yoga asanas or techniques yeah, are beneficial. Some of them could make your issues worse. So seek guidance. Yeah, but overall, when you move the spine in various directions, that will help you build the mobility and internal awareness. Internal awareness is really important. Let me lead you through a simple practice. This is divided into like two parts. The first part will be the decompression of our hips, and low back, and the upper back, which pave way for mobility. And then the second part is developing an active type of strength, you know, something which will help you manage your condition. So you might do this class in one go, or you might do the first part first, and then the following day you did the second half. You just skip through a lesson, the video. All right, so we start you know, lying on our bellies. Yeah. So the first part, I suggest you do it over like folded blankets so you have that uh, soft um, and smooth cushion yeah, to keep our joints relaxed. Now bending your front knee and extending the other leg long. Yeah. Adjust your uh, side long as well so one side is longer and the other one is bent. And then just rest the head facing that bent side. Good. And then you know, begin to work that back leg by rolling it in and out and then correspondingly adjust the upper back too. And, and then once you feel relaxed, you just settle in the position. This is um, the asana we call the Matsyakridasana or the flapping fish. You know, what it does, uh, it decompresses the low back. It's a very mild extension, extending the low back. It's also a side stretch, you know, side bending is essential if you have the scoliosis because one side is hollow. Yeah. For me, it's my left side is so hollow that my right side drops. Yeah. And this one allows the side to relax. And not only that this position decompresses the spine, the low back. This is also beneficial for relaxing the nerves, especially of the hips, the sacrum, and around the uh, upper and lower abdomen. Um, and then ease the breath and just breathing mindfully. And this is also good for your respiratory system. Yeah, good for the lungs, this one. Through each exhalation, allow the weight of your body to just contour on the shape of the blanket. Yeah, yeah. And if you feel this need to like adjust as your spine opens, yeah, there's always this need to adjust. So don't be static. You know, finding the edge, you may open yeah, that extended leg wider and then spread your front knee wider too. And just you may roll the thigh one in and out like this and lift the thigh. But if the head fatigues, you know, feel free to turn the head the other way. Just stay in this position for about two or three minutes, even. You know, periodically adjusting to suit your body. 
and really allow your exhalation to weigh down the hips. Right, so keeping your upper body relaxed, folding that extended leg, and then circle the knee around. You may find the leg from right to left, and then circle around. And in this movement of the joint, what it does, it goes deep into the femur bone, the top of the femur bone, where it's connected to the hips. And if you have scoliosis, that part of the hips tend to compress, yeah, to accommodate yeah, the lack of openness of the other side. Yeah. You may swim the leg, yeah, and then from there, just the ankle, circle the foot around, pointing and flexing the toes too. Yeah, you might shake that foot you know, to release tight spots and circle. So combine all those random movements. If you need to open the arms, if the neck becomes heavy, do that. Yeah. that. Sometimes I would do like this. And I will crawl my upper back forward. It feels good. Yeah. And this is my hollow spot, my hollow side. And then when that side is hollow, yeah, it tends to uh, go really deep, yeah, that the spine tilts to the other direction. And this one paves way for the spine to move to the midline. All right. Beautiful. All right. And extending the leg like that. And then from there, yeah, thread that arm under. And then just open flat. Yeah, so belly to floor, lower back to floor, belly open now. Right, and then just allow your body to contour and relax on your cushion. And then start to move your knees like this. And then the hips too. And then bit by bit, and lighten your heels. Right, and lighten your feet. Yeah. Feel free to open the arms wider. Uh, and with the head supported, yeah, you're in sure of the healthy position of your joints. Yeah? And then moving our body side to side over that soft and smooth uh, cushion is light for the joints too. Yeah, in my circle. Yeah, only if you can. Yeah, but this circling movement might be intense uh, for beginners, so uh, feel free to guide your circles with the hands. Uh, all right, and then releasing one side, and then stay, and left, and then the other side, uh, so we can just release the lower spine. All right, beautiful. All right, just cross the ankles, and then just some mild lower back stretch like this. Yeah, rising up and down. And crest across the leg. All right, and then scoop and release. Good. Now, just turn, you know, facing this way. Yeah. So keeping your bottom knee bent. So this is really good in a thigh stretch. So we're gonna stretch the adductors. Yeah. And this part of our inner uh, body, the inner thigh, when they tighten, so they pull the hips so uh, tight that it ripples to the low back. So by doing this stretching, so opposite hand to your inner thigh, and as you circle the thigh bone around, move your inner thigh muscles or flesh away from the hips, like that. Right. You may extend the opposite arm over the head. Right. As you circle it towards you, traction or draw your inner thigh out so like you want to separate yeah, the inner hip from yeah, the lower belly and then you might do this yeah just let the foot it feels good this one like it can access those yeah, inner thigh joints and then the sacrum too and with the other uh, arm extending your uh, doing a side stretch. 
Lord, push and pull. Uh, you may release a moment yeah, to rest this back. Sometimes I would draw this knee higher to stretch the back side, the posterior side. I'm going to do this. It's, uh, you will find it. <laughs> Our condition is quite challenging. Huh? So there's always this need to move like restless movement so we can access those inner joints All right, from there lower back again and then you may find your legs from side to side in a circle um, uh, crossing All right and then from there yeah, just move your hamstring muscles away from the buttock uh, stretching so you may do this one leg at a time. So go as deep as you need to. Sometimes I would uh, shake him out. Up. And then the other leg uh, to release compression. And not only if you suffer from scoliosis, this one. So this is um, generally beneficial for hips. So if you're sitting too long, working on your computer, if you work entails lots of standing or walking, or if you've done long gardening outside, your low back tightens, this will help you. Beautiful. And then just fun again like this. A circle around. All right. Up and down if you can. Right, mobility. All right. Now we're twisting. All right. So extend that leg closest to me and cross the other on top and open. Beautiful. Right. In here, feel free to turn the head. Yeah. All right, and then just from there, yeah, keep rolling over. Uh, so back to our original form, but we're going to level the hips now. And then just adjust them. You may lift one side up. And the other side. All right, folding both knees. Your arms may be wide to the side, or you can cross them forward. And then circle your legs around. Yeah, feel free to turn the head. Yeah. And then fanning them right to left. All right. Now limp as you let them go. And change. And circle. Yeah, like this. That's good. Yeah. All right, you may lift one side up, hmm, and you might shake it up like that, and then down, and then change, and circle through them. Yeah, like you want to loosen your hips and the joints of the low back. That's the region where the nerves tend to tighten too much. And then just ease, and so the blanket really helps yeah, because this adds this, um, I say, the softness and then the sliding motion. So we use the blanket to create more spaces through the disc. Good. Now tucking your toes, snake your spine forward like this. Uh, and then when you feel level, just energize your thigh. And here you're going to feel you know, the strength on your posterior. Yeah. And this one stabilizes the knees too. Beautiful. All right. Letting go. You uh, might yeah. wiggle first. Yeah. Fly your elbows. All right. We're pressing to kneel. All right. Place your knees yeah, just close to the midline. And then sit back. And then you might adjust the kneecaps like this. Yeah. And then we're going to slide the hips back in a side to side motion. And at the same time, move the spine away from the hips. And then be open to the practice. Yeah, stay with the head low. Yeah. So our tongue yeah, really can yeah, help us alleviate the discomfort. Yeah, the tongue, if you rub it around your mouth, yeah, against the back of your lip, yeah, uh, the, the upper gum between yeah, the, the, front, the upper lip and the upper teeth, if you rub it from side to side, you're going to feel the stretch right here, back of the shoulders and back of the hips. And at the bottom, it goes inside. Now try that. Yeah. yeah. 
And then when the tongue, the, the mouth becomes wet, just dry the mouth. Now breathe. Beautiful. All right, from there, yeah, up to your kneeling position, and then just lie down. Yeah. Extending the legs away from you, and then do a mild um, adjustment here. Yeah. Like this. And then you may rub one side well, and the other side. All right. And we're twisting. All right. So crossing one knee under and the other on top. Well, and then just hug that knee. Right. And then you may lift the hip yeah. and the other side too. Right. So twisting, yeah, gentle twisting. Yeah. They're good, yeah. But deep ones where you really compress, like in a deep binding, well, that could happen progressively in the future. For, for general practice, this one will suffice, yeah. But if the Ardra Matsyandrasana is light, you can do that too, yeah. But if this one causes discomfort here, don't do it. Yeah. And then rolling the shoulders up and down, and then the neck too. Good. And stay. And this position, twisting, uh, we become, we develop that inner core awareness because the core inside is really the the key yeah, to holding the spine in its, I say, stable position. Because when we have those abnormal curvature, the spine tends to um, move over one side, it favors one side, and sometimes if we miss a step, for example, just a simple standing or walking, if you're not aware of those, you know, I say, imbalances inside, that could potentially you know, hurt you. I know. <laughs> sometimes you're just doing your house of choice and then you bend over to grab something from the cupboard and you stand up, and that could be debilitating and recovering from neurocompression, spasm, could take a long time. All right, and then release. And then you have to breathe through it. All right, and then just moving like this, you know, fanning your legs, yeah. and the hips. Beautiful. Easy. All right, so we, since we started this direction, so we drop the other side. Yeah, and then on your belly again. Yeah, and we're just repeating the sequence from the top. So bending that knee closest to me and extending the other leg long and rest. All right. Now, for example, this is your normal side. Yeah. You know what I mean? I say normal when you have this spinal curvature, abnormal spinal curvature, one side feels normal actually. Yeah. But it's the hollow side which <laughs> gives us the problems. So if this is, for example, your uh, normal side, you can just rest right here right, and then just adjust. You know, it, you know, so to open the shoulder, generally when, when your spine leans to that direction, it's the upper back, which is tight, right? Yeah. So bending the elbow to the side will help. If you need, fold the blanket a little bit more to create more cushion or place something under your chest. And, and, but for this class, let's even the technique. So circle the leg around like that. Oops. You can extend, use your toes to adjust. Crawl your spine forward. So you can stretch the side drop. Yeah. Shake it out. Yeah. Circle. So picture, think about your ankles like your wrist. Yeah. They're meant to be mobile. And it will help. Yeah. If the joints of our knees, our feet, our ankles, our shoulders, our elbows, and the hands are mobile, then Nerve compression is lessened. Mm. And even the toes, yeah, turn the head if you need. Use your arm you know, to elevate your head if you need. And breathing. And then just settle for a moment. Right. And then adding the meditation. 
using the brain to channelize our breath down the bottom region of our spine, not just your lungs. Yeah? When you're breathing in a prone position such as this, the breath flows so yeah, freely down the bottom uh, nerve clusters. You can feel the belly there, even the bottom of the hips, close to your navel, and your creative energies. Next time. Good. All right, spreading that arm across and then open wide. All right, take feet down first. And then this. If you place your hands under your skull, that will elevate your head. Yeah, so play around. Yeah, do what's right for your structure. And then when you do this side to side, you know, your knees may open, yeah, but not too much that they feel too loose. Right, you may use the hands to guide your legs around like this. One. Good. Lift them up, up and down. Crisscross, side to side. All right, facing me again. Yeah, we're stretching the inner leg. And I just if you need. <laughs> All right, and get this one up. Right. So off topic, like <laughs> if you have scoliosis, even your your clothing <laughs> gets twisted. <laughs> Your pant, yeah, sometimes you need to <laughs> adjust your clothing to the center because as your spine your favors the other side, all of our movement go there too. Huh? Yes, pushing, extending. Yeah. If you need, well, sometimes you may want to open like this and then go as deep, like you want to really separate. Yeah. That. Uh, sometimes you need to just square and adding the tongue. This one as well. Uh, hugging. Yes, we can stretch this too closer. You may use the opposite hand. Yeah. If you have those spiky balls, yeah, with the you know, the spikes you can actually use that to rub around those tight spots so. or just a soft one I think I have something here so I said just keep going breathing in breathing out but you may use your uh, massage ball you know, to you know, loosen your tight spots sometimes yes you find it like there are like tight you know, stubborn compression there you know, just allow some pressure there just holding especially up the other quadrant of the buttock yeah you know. but don't press against the bones yeah just the flesh Right. And the other one too. Beautiful. Alright, now from there, twisting. Yeah, like closest to me opens, cross the other on top. And release. Yeah. It's good, right? Like before you practice, like this, this spasm building inside, you know, it's going to happen. Yeah. It's just a matter of when and you're going to snap. So before it happens, once your hips, you feel that heavy, you're tight and sluggish, yeah, you have to stretch. And then try the sequence. 
Even then, I can show this. Beautiful. All right, and just rolling over again. And we do the symmetrical one, circles, crisscrossing, dropping, um, swing the leg. So if you notice, I hang my knee joints over the cushion, so I have more mobility. So I have here, it's like, you know, maybe four or five you know, fleece blanket, you know, just at your local shop. Or you can do your thick blanket at home. Alrighty. And then extending, tucking the toes, you know, like a light cobra position. Now extend your spine, back bend is also beneficial to open the desk. But not the intense ones. Supported back bend is good. Like this. And release. All right. You may wiggle a bit. Right. Free the leg. You may shake the leg out. In the neck. Good. Pressing the knee. Right. Tucking your toes. So knees down. Sit back. Yeah. Wiggle. Yes. Forward, 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 and then down. Good. Breathe. Like the disposition. Whereas before the practice, this one is so heavy and tight. After opening those hips and the joints there in the low back, this is effortless. Good. All right, and then from there, yeah, moving forward, yeah, sitting, extending the legs away from you. You may fan the leg like this, and yeah, circle that leg around, kick and stretch. All right, interesting, yeah. Leg closest to me on top, and hug the knee. Pull back, easy. This is my tight spot on you know, my right side, which commonly for most of us. You, know, you might move the snake away lightly, and then release. Beautiful. Uh, inhaling and exhale. Good. So that's the first spot. Yeah, you can just rest in the shavasana. You can get up and face the rest of your task or progressing to the next stage, which is mobility and strength. So for this one, just fold your blanket and set that aside. If you have like yoga props, yeah. You may yeah collect those props now and just place them yeah accessible and handy. All right, from there, yeah, spreading the fingers, lift the hips, Adho Mukha Shanasana, and here bend and stretch, and then move, and then you may turn to light circles, bend and stretch. All right, now we're stepping, yeah. Back leg, yeah. if you're facing this direction, is the left leg, yeah. and the right foot down, exhale, and then open facing me, second warrior, yeah, so bending. All right, here, yeah. roll the shoulders, yeah. lift them, and let them go. Beautiful, and then settle. All right, hip strength is important. Yeah. The hips are like the foundation of a spine. When the hips are strong, the rest of us strong and settle. Five breaths or ten breaths, yeah, you know, would suffice. That's only thirty seconds. You know what's thirty seconds for a long time of strengthening benefit. Stay. You may devote one breath to each of your fingers. And take a long breath and inhale. 
and exhale. Good. As easy as that. So place your elbow down if you need to stretch a little bit shorter and stretch the side trunk. Then you might arch, yeah, side bending, and then slowly settle. Yeah, up and down. All right, both hands down to floor, the ten toes face the same direction, facing me. You know, maybe one meter apart or where you're the most balanced. And then just pendulum your weight forward and back. Yeah. And then just fold your spine easy. Good. Let the neck, the shoulders relax. Yeah, stretching the posterior side, broadening the sacrum by tractioning or moving the thighs apart, but they don't visibly move. So you don't want to be opening the legs too wide. Can you notice my yeah, lopsided side that this one tends to um, favor yeah, the sides? So I need always to like move the thigh in so this one can move to balance. All right, breathing in, awareness, yeah? now open them wide. And then, then pendulum to side to side and rise, inhaling. Draw the spine, exhale, sink. All right. Releasing tension in the hips and the upper back, yeah, up and down movement, like this. All right, breathing in, exhale, settle. All right, and then walk the other way, and then squaring down the facing dog in here. Pedal, bend, and stretch side to side. I may open wide. Good. All right, now from here, step. Yeah, leg closest to me. Uh, up. Yeah, which is your left leg, your right heel down. This time, keep tracking the vertical position, breathing in, soften, first warrior, link your hands and stretch your spine. You may fold the elbows and then open, opening the thoracic cavity, strengthening in the lower regions. Breathe. Breathe up the spine, inhaling. Now exhale, All right. shorten that stride. Yeah. So if pressing the heel down is difficult for the flexibility of your back leg, square that foot over. Yeah. If you can, uh, keep the back foot flat, reach, and twisting to this direction. Right, soften forward, yeah. thigh back, move the spine towards the diagonal axis. So the twist is like a spiral, you just don't turn the spine. As you turn, you move. Yeah, the discs long in a spiraling motion. Mm, sometimes visualizing it helps. Yeah. All right, free the hands and square the body. Downward facing dog, and then bend and stretch side to side. Good. Right foot, steps up, back foot. Heel down, opening, second warrior. So if you notice, yeah, our sequence is like, after working on strength, by making the muscles slightly active, we release. Yeah. And then settle. Yeah. Breathing in, breathing out. Yeah. Become aware of the breath, it's important. Like the breath, if you inspire, you feel it rise. Yeah. To train your mind. Yeah, to get accustomed or familiar with the breath. You can do this, breathing in, breathing out. Yeah, breathing in, breathing out. Yeah, so once you are efficient managing the breath inside, you can hold it still. Yeah. One more breath. All right, easy, palm down, <laughs> adjust this leg if you need, and a light stretch, and lightly arch, and then drop. All right, easy, yeah, to the front. So I've talked about the ideal like uh, stride 
or distance uh, to suit your structure. So cupping your heels using your hands, grab the heels from the outside. You should be able to comfortably place your heels there and still bend the elbows and then wiggle. If you struggle doing that, it means your legs are too wide yeah? or, or if you're too narrow, yeah? this could work too if you're really lacking the flexibility. Yeah? So find the midpoint. Yeah? Good, and then once there, yeah, settle in the middle before you fold, inhale open. On the exhalation, drop loose. Then you might nod the head, wrap the tongue inside the mouth, and then settle exhalation. One more thing, you need to breathe with the nose only, otherwise stated by your teacher. You know, the healthy breathing is when we do it through the nose and not the mouth. Mouth breathing is unhealthy. We don't breathe with the mouth unless instructed by a teacher. There are the yoga techniques which we breathe with the mouth, but they are not done unless specifically stated. Just breathe through the nose. Beautiful. All right, open. Turn them wide. Rise. And down. Um, breathing in. Breathing out. Yeah. Inhale. Exhale. Yeah, let's do two more. Just to break stagnation after folding. One last time. Yeah. Coming down. All right. Walking the other way. And stretch back down dog. Here, you might jump the downward dog. Then a stretch. I'll circle around. All right. The leg closest to me, which is the right, steps up. And the heel down, opening up first for you. Soften and rise. And chest stretch. So if you notice, we're moving our spine in various directions. So this, the principle of flow with the spine you know, being the centerpiece of your practice, and of course, the breath, flowing through the breath. And we've not done any complicated ones, yeah, but quite challenging, yeah? All right, rise, inhale, reach. All right, you may place a hand down or across. Yeah, adjust a short stride, palms together. Breathe. A light resistance between your front knee and your elbow, and that stabilizes the spine. Yeah? Especially if this is your hollow spot to encourage your spine to move to that direction. All right, free, square, square, all right, then a stretch. Good. Now we're going to use our blocks now, yeah? Yeah, mobility and inner core strength. If you're not using the block, yeah, just place your hand spot on the ground. All right, one knee at a time, cross them, cross them, sitting, you may be able to fit through. And release. Good. From there, hugging, hugging, and then roll on your back. Good. And then just a mild restoration up and down. All right. And we do the technique again of massaging a low back. You feel how strong your body has become? Like you've regained your openness, and the breath is flowing. Good. All right, push and pull. All right. From there, yeah, just roll over one side. Coming up. All right. Bring your prop with you. So this sequence is so simple. Very straightforward. Just changing sides. Yeah. Good. Crossing. Cross the other leg. First, second, and then from here, push. Why not? Through. All right. Bending. Inhale and rolling, exhale. And find those arms again, and the hips. Feel free to hold it one side and then change. So, what can we do? Yeah, we're born with it. So, we rise above our limitations. And practically, yeah, yeah that's life, that's yoga, yeah? 
And then when we've risen through those, I say, original uh, uh, limitations, that's where we harness our potential. So, all right, crossing, yeah. rocking up and down. All right. One more thing, yeah, you don't want to be bouncing this up, yeah. So, one side, like this, take your time, yeah. If you're not doing the prop, I'll show you the modification. All right. You can cross or you can just kneel, sit, drop to one side, and then forward. And that's already good for mobilizing the joints of the spine. All right. If you want, yeah. This, this, sit, and drop, and then forward, all right? And roll back, all right? Open again. All right. If you want to perform the inner thigh stretching again, do that. Let right, me shake it out. The other side. Yeah. You may extend one leg, cross the other on top. And find the leg. All right. And coming up and down, rocking motion. All right, over one side. Yeah. Bring your prop with you. Last. Up. Exhaling. All right. Crossing one at a time, develop the strength. Or, yeah, if you've been doing this already, yeah. You can cross through in the jump position, yeah. Hang and then through and then sit. All right. Move the blocks away and on your backs again. All right. And release the joints. Now well then. All right. I would normally finish with kriyas like this. Shake it out. Yeah. And then preparing, yeah. you may roll your blanket again. Yeah. You're at home, huh? so you all have the time and the freedom to utilize <laughs> the things around your house. Good. And then do this again, yeah. Releasing those inner hip joints and then side to side. Yeah. If you need to do a light twist with that, but not too long, yeah. you may find the leg across and out at the same time, extending and the other way. Good. And rest. And while here, I just want you to become comfortable and relax. You might join me as I chant the Om. And what we do when we chant the Om, we release excess energies which can cause stagnation. Yeah. Although it's good to have the energy, excess ones are not needed, so then we need to release them out. And enchanting is one way to relax our vocal cords and the throat and the cervical spine. When you do it with me, just say it quietly, but penetrating and deep. Oh.
awareness back to my voice. And breathe, yeah? Allow your breath to expand again, your inner body. Mm. Begin to move now. You may sway first with the light knee bent, the lower back. And start to move the joints, you know, the hands, feet, you know, toes, ankles, you know, even you know, the shoulders. You know, and then bit by bit, folding the knees. Mm. Activating, mobilizing a low back again, and hugging, mm, just a mild circle, and up and down to rock in motion. Beautiful. All right, and then over one side, and up to your sitting. Good. Hopefully, you're much in a better position after the practice. Yeah, let's close. Breathing and arms lift. And exhale down. Uh, two more. Find your breath. Rise. You may follow using your external light or internally. You follow your breath. Now, one more time. <laughs> Inhale as you rise. And fold the knees together in front of a heart. We fold over it. Namaste. Thank you for joining me. And I'll see you in the next session. Namaste. Take care.